people! I love my country. So June 12th, there was a big game. Croatia, my country, versus Brazil. Opening game. It's crazy that Croatia got the chance to verse Brazil, the home country, on their homeland. The opening game. Like, do you know how many people are watching that game? It's crazy. Two billion people I read on the internet that watched that game, which is crazy. There's a lot of good things that happen in that game and a lot of bad things and I'm going to tell you my opinion on the game right now. So first of all, Brazil is much bigger than Croatia. Croatia has a population of only 5 million people, while Brazil has 200 million people. That's a lot more players to choose from. So the first goal was scored by Croatia. It was crazy when we scored. The crowd went wild. I, was, I watched it in town with my family and other Croatian fans. They all went crazy. What's really cool is that Croatia scored the first goal of the whole tournament, which is really cool. <laughs> that is, we didn't really score the first goal. Thank you, Marcelo. The second goal was scored by Neymar. It was a pretty good goal, I'm not gonna lie. But then, the second goal for Brazil, which made it 2-1, was a penalty. And I'm sorry, I'm not usually a complainer, but the referee, Nishimura, shouldn't have called it because that was a total dive. Our player didn't even touch the guy. Like I said, the referee, yes, he was bad, but you can't complain it always on the ref. I mean, we could have scored goals easily ourselves. And our goalie, Steven Pletico, so was so close to reaching it. I mean, he got it, but he was just scared. He couldn't, I don't know. Imagine playing in front of a stadium of, I don't know how many thousand people. I swear, if I played for Croatia, what I would have done was just, I would have attacked Neymar and injured him, injured his leg, whatever, and maybe a player down, but who cares? He's, he's the head of the team, Brazil. I swear, if he didn't play for Brazil, Brazil wouldn't be Brazil, because he is, he's like a one-man show. The third goal for Brazil was scored by Oscar on a breakaway, and I mean, I don't know how he scored the goal. I think Croatia just gave up even though we shouldn't have given up, I don't know. I heard that someone said that like, it should have been a foul for Croatia, but I didn't see anything. That was just a plain goal, good job. But what I liked about the whole game was Croatians fought with their hearts. I mean, it's hard playing against a team that won the World Cup five times with 200 million people compared to Croatia, never won the World Cup not once, and only has five million people. But we did play with our hearts and we showed them that we can actually play with them and that we didn't lose like 10 nothing or whatever. Also, what I forgot to say is that our best player, our striker, our goal scorer, Mario Mandzukic, he was missing. He didn't play the game because he got a red card uh, in the qualifying for the FIFA World Cup. And I think we could have done a lot better with him. Next game is Croatia versus Cameroon. Hopefully we win that game. We'll see how the rest goes. And thank you people for watching my video. And I'll see you soon for my next video probably gonna be another game review we'll see anyways thanks for watching make sure to comment like subscribe and that was awesome girl i know you're bad and i know that you can have any guy that you want